Hey, 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 beautiful souls. Hey, everyone, welcome in. How are you guys doing? I am back with another video. Listen, the downloads are crazy. Let me just say, you know, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are safe. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for my new subscribers. I really, really do appreciate you guys. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate any comments. Leave your girl an emoji. You know, we're not in, you know, begging season, right? But year of 2022, energy needs to be reciprocated. So you need to ask for what you want to ask for, right? That's how we manifest in. It's a law of attraction. The downloads that I was getting, I really was getting them yesterday. Today is... Thursday the 7th. The energy yesterday was just a little too heavy for me to even just come on and, and do a video. That I was just feeling it way too much. There's a lot of fake. Listen, the fake, the fake, the fake is at an all-time high. You know what? It's not even that it's at an all-time high. It's always been there. It's just being revealed more. Like it's it's being exposed more than ever before and that really is you know the crumbling the destruction of this matrix the these corporation these constructs these old cassette beliefs these old ways of thinking you're i mean you upgrade your phone you upgrade your computer you upgrade your tv it's the same way with the way you think you don't think like how you used to think when you was 20. Even if you're 20 right now, you don't think like how you used to think when you was 12. You upgrade the way that you think, right? You evolve. That is what um, ascension is. So I had, I got a paper in front of me. I had to write down these, these downloads because, listen, go get something to drink because I'm, I'm really, I'm not a hater. So it's not on... That level, I'm definitely a congratulator where individuals were the underdogs, individuals were called weird, the black sheep of the family, the impasse that feels other people's emotions when people project things. This may be your me the message for you right now. But let me tell you, it's not new energy coming in that's really being fake to you or what you might be seeing at this time. It is this old energy. So these are individuals and this this could resonate as your family. So you know what? Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Okay, so this could be family. This could be these are relationships, friendships, however it however it goes, 10, 15, 20, maybe even 30 years. I mean, elementary school friends, middle school friends, high school friends, college friends, somebody uh together since college. You name it, uh, for, for um, fraternal, fraternity, brothers and sisters. There are these type of relationships that are being dissolved right now. Like literally friendships are breaking up. And I'm going to, it's because of this fake energy that's been out. I'm going to start. I have the, the fake support, the fake confidence, and that fake love. Okay. That fake support that is happening right now. Listen. There, it is coming in the form or in that energy of individuals who are just now starting something, maybe opening the store. You could be someone that's cooking, baking, you know, a, a product or a service. And then you have somebody in your family or family members trying to redirect what you're, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish. You could have tried to get this off the ground for the last couple of years. You know, maybe you put it down. You you know, you le you lose maybe some of um your mojo or you lose some of your motivation, inspiration, or, or your creativity. And you're trying to pick it back up. And you got these family members that keep telling you, well, you need to be doing this. And this is going to make you more money. Or you need to jump on, you know, you need to jump on X, Y, Z. It's going to make you more money. Listen, continue to follow your mission, your purpose, your your uh, your path, and your passion. It's not always about money. And I'm hearing those that it's always been about money. Or the uh, tables are turning where things are just not working out for them because their only why and their only purpose was 
to impress other people with money or use money in a way to, um, you know, get people to like them or to get people to love them. The other fake support that is coming in, again, people starting out with something and somebody already established, people are wanting to come to you like, you know, hey, bro, hey, sis, you know, I want to invest in you, um, you know, I want you to be my apprentice or I want you, you know, these individuals want to dominate you. They want to micromanage you. They, whatever they've had established, it's, uh, it's, they're, it's old. It's old. It's not really, you know, it's not doing anything, but you got some, this new creative, fresh energy. You know, you really are working out of your solar plex chakra. So, you know, your ideas are, you know, about to make you a lot of money once you get up, get this off the ground. But you got people, if they come to you, you may think, damn, you know, somebody trying to sponsor me or somebody's trying to invest in what I'm doing. Listen, ask that individual what are what is their intentions, okay? What What is their intentions for wanting to assist you? And you need to get an answer because everybody out here is not just doing something out of their kindness of their heart. There's a lot of people that want to capitalize off of you. And there's a lot of people who are just uh, opportunists. You know, they, it's just, it's in that moment of what they can get. It's not about seeing you do better. Okay. So that's that fake support. Ask these people, what is their intentions for wanting to invest in you and your business. I also was here and listen, y'all copyright your stuff. Y'all have some phenomenal ideas. Y'all working on some stuff. P write up some contract. Go some, if you are going to deal with somebody and work with somebody, go get it notarized if you don't have an attorney, but get your stuff patent, whatever you have to do to protect, because that's one thing when somebody is inspired and motivated by something that you're doing and then you know, it helps them motivate what they're doing. But when you got somebody that is copying you to a T, you got somebody that is wanting to be around you, be in your presence because they want to know your grandmother's recipe. Okay. So really be aware of the intentions on people wanting to know every single thing that you're doing when it's coming, uh, coming down to your business. I lost a, a little bit of train of thought. I'm already channeling. I'm an intuitive reader. And that means I don't need to use tarot. This is not a tarot reading today. I may use them at the end just to get some uh, horoscope signs to see who these individuals are. But if you just hear for the cards and for the tarot, maybe click off. This is not for you. I may curse as well. But this is just, you know, mm -hmm. something that my divination comes in many, many forms. And I'm a reader and many, many multi-dimensional forms, multi-facet type of ways, okay? Spirit just needed me to say that to you, all right? So I have to look at this paper because I don't, I really don't want to be all over the place. But the other form of this fake support is, listen, this one is like, people got to be fucking mental for this one. People will buy your service or, or pay for your products and again, these are, I'm really picking up people that's just starting out with their creativity, with their business, really transforming their life. These are people that have went in, have done shadow work, has worked on their self to build their confidence. And I'm going to get to fake confidence because there's a lot of that fake confidence out there. You are a genuine person that is building your raw, authentic confidence, right? Now individuals buying your stuff or wanting your service just so they could tarnish your name or just so they can criticize your business or be able to talk about how your product is or what your services is. That's a, that's a, that's a real mental, that person needs to go get their self checked the fuck out. There's even readers that I was hearing that people will pay now, readings are like, my readings are $65 an hour. There's readers that's paying way more than that, trust me. So there's people going to readers paying 100 to whatever they're paying just so they could debunk 
you know, these are people that don't believe in tarot. They don't believe in readers, but they want to, they are um, skeptical. So they want to get a reading just to say, oh, this person is not who they say they are. They're not a medium. They're not a psychic. Listen, if you got to take that much energy and you got to take your money just to tarnish somebody else, I'm telling you, a lot of people need to go get the mental mental illness is something that we need to start talking about a lot more and things that are uh, uh, dysfunctional needs to stop being normalized. Okay. People need to really go seek and go get some professional fucking help doing that. People going to somebody's salon just to, you know, do a review that, you know, they messed their hair up or somebody, you know, a black owned business, a, a food catering business, you know, all the food was undercooked just to put up bad reviews. One, that's real sad if one we're doing that to each other. This is more than just a race. This is something I'm feeling massive. Even with the small amount of views I have, that means nothing. Numbers mean nothing. Numbers can be manipulated. On YouTube, this is a, a talking channel. This is more it's not more it's videos yeah but you got individuals on youtube you can buy your subscribers your your views and your comments i wasn't guided to do it that way i was guided to do it in a authentic raw way and and to have patience and to be able to you know uh get through who i need to get through because the healer that i am the prophetess that I am and the way that I'm going and the superpowers that I have, it doesn't require the, the masses. I'm not with the sheep and the herd. So it's not even going to be a lot. So don't get it screwed and, and be impressed when you just see numbers. Okay. That that's part of an illusion. And I'm going to get, again, I'm going to get to that fake confidence because that's part of that's part of that also. That's all being, you know, that's all being um, recognized and awareness is coming to that. But those individuals that's doing it, listen, I'd rather you not buy from me. And you know what? When it comes to my readings that I do, if you don't take a spiritual bath, I'm not doing it because I have boundaries. I need to protect myself. I don't need nobody's uh, negative energy or their spirits jumping on me. That's, we just not getting down like that. So if you somebody that's starting out, you know, you're not in the energy of desperation. Like I don't need what I'm producing and what I'm getting is not for me to be paying my rent on the first. That's not how that's going down. It's about individuals building multiple streams of income. It's your why, it's your path, and it's your passion. Okay. So somebody needed to hear that. What I'm trying to see, am I done with? So yeah, definitely you guys got to get, ask questions. You guys got to get things copyright and you got to get things patented or go get something notarized if you are planning on doing something with individuals. I was also hearing you can get entangled. Be careful. Do not get entangled with somebody that's doing something potentially illegal that you may may not know these individuals are very articulate they have the gift the gab they have the uh, uh, attorneys and they have the money they will pin this shit on you all right so everybody's money and um trying to get in the business with everybody everybody it's not everybody's not right everybody's not right you know save yourself uh the headache or the 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 legalities save yourself from and I don't care if this is family or not, whoever this is. All right. So I'm moving on to the fake confidence. That is those individuals who hide behind material things. You do not know how people live behind closed doors, but people let's stop getting impressed because somebody drives a BMW because somebody got these multiple degrees because somebody was in a fraternity because you know, somebody's, uh, you know, whatever home they live in. You don't know people's background. You don't know, you know, uh, even following and, and being impressed by these celebrities and these athletes, like they some sort of gods. You the God, you the goddess 
it's time to tap into you, tap into yourself and what you can do. So many of these individuals, again, are being exposed. These are reg the, They're not regular people, but they're put on this pedestal to make them like they some sort of titan or something, you know, to that effect. So people is hiding, you know, behind all the material things. You have family members or individuals that may be in your circle. You're going to know when people, and this may tie into the support. If you are working hard, you've been healing yourself. You've been doing the work, you know, you've changed your lifestyle. You are trying to build your business and you got friends or family members, you know, in your life and they see you doing this and not once do they say, well, let me give you a, a tip on this particular kind of stock, or let me give you uh, a tip on this type of investment. And, you know, uh, let me, let me introduce you to my attorney or let me introduce you to my financial advisor, but they sit back and they just, they'll just watch you. Yeah. We supposed to you're supposed to learn. You're supposed to make mistakes. You you know, in, in that case, nobody's saying a free ride because ain't nothing for free. But if the person I'm talking about, somebody that is really uh, grinding, really hustling and really grinding. And these people just are watching you. They're just watching you. Not so much struggle because you're not looking at it like that, but they just watch you. And it's just like, you know what? At the end of the day, do it on your own and then build your own team. Because the last thing you need is somebody coming back to you later on. Like, well, if it wasn't for me, X, Y, Z, you wouldn't have X, Y, Z. Again, everybody's heart is not genuine, kind, and pure. People learn that the hard way. Then we have, oh my goodness, we got predators. We got predators that are out here who are seeking out women. Who have children you remember back in the days when a, if a, a female was single with a kid a dude was like ah I, i'm not uh -uh, i'm not messing you know they wanted that independent chick that had her money and everything like that and it's all cool and everything right but they now the tables have turned because you know what those independent females don't want these bum ass clowns right so these dudes think that okay well now i'm gonna go to the one with the kids that got the deadbeat dead you know now you know, females is getting these child credits and you they getting all kinds of, you know, different types of benefits and stuff with, with all the, the children make, I mean, some money. I mean, some money, right? These dudes just want to be a bum. They just want to leech on what, you know, all right, I'll be around her and be around some kids because these dudes is homeless. And they know, well, if she got these kids, she really ain't going nowhere. Them females that don't got no children and that's independent, can jump on a plane at any given moment and call you and be like, hey, baby, how you doing? What's up? Where you at? Oh, baby, I'm in Florida. You where? <laughs> That's not happening that quickly. Not saying this can't happen, but it's not happening that quickly with a single mother, especially, you know, she got multiple kids with different baby fathers and she's, you know, she's single. So that I was picking up. I was picking up also these men wanting to seek females that they have a thing for, for children and they're fucking sex pedophile. You need to look and do a background check. Some people, you, listen, we need to stop being so desperate to just want somebody and be with somebody. Okay? Because there's these predators out here that's getting with these single females that have, and I was hearing their daughters is between um, like 6, 7 to like 15. Okay. And they are wanting the, they are wanting the child, even the little boys, even the little boys, y'all gonna have to get right. Y'all gonna have to stop ignoring your intuition and stop ignoring these red flags. And when I'm seeing energy, I'm not seeing Susie. Like I know it's you Susie. That's not what was happening here. So people start, you know, I, I'm on YouTube, but there's people I do see out and about, you know, in, in real world. No, energy don't work like that. Where I'm, I'm not tapping into your energy. I'm not doing no readings on you. Don't nobody want to know about your dirty laundry. That's not how spiritual law works. People want to find out something. They have to seek me out. And that's how I get permission to do, to do readings. Okay. So that's just some of the predators that's going on. 
Oh my goodness. Let me tell y'all better to get ready for this one because this one might be a little triggering. This is the fake love for these relationships that's been 10, 10, 15, 20 years. And when I say fake love, I'm not meaning that the, these people don't love each other. What I'm saying is a lot of times either these relationships got together because somebody got pregnant, the uh, religion, or, you know, somebody settled. And it was the thing to do if you've already been married 20, 30 years. If that is not the case, and you and this beautiful, loving, passionate, uh, in love, and you've been together long, 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 you done did, you know, it don't feel like a bid. Because what I was picking up is some of these females that's in these really long relationships and they not married, they feel trapped. They feel like they doing, they feel like they doing the bid. And then the other thing I was picking up is the affairs. See, they're not having affairs with somebody new out in the street that they're just meeting and going on tandem. No, it's individuals that's in a circle is what I picked up. This is somebody that can come in a house or this is somebody that can sleep over. This is somebody that has a key. This is somebody the kids call auntie or uncle. This is, and the, or this could be a, a, a in-law that this affair there's affairs that are happening that way. These individuals, you know, stop. If you're single, stop putting these long-term relationships on a pedestal like that's what real love is just because it's made it that many years. It is sometimes cheaper to keep her. Okay. And I'm just, I'm just bringing it how spirit wants me to bring it. And however that is received, Stop comparing, well, you still not with somebody and oh my God, they've been together for so long, yada, yada, yada. No, you, again, and I'm going to repeat this in each thing I say, you do not know what is going on behind closed doors in anybody's home. You do not know what's happening in the freaking bedroom. Stop comparing yourself to other people, especially relationships. You got that fake love where you have individuals, it is sweet to acknowledge your man, your woman, your bae, nobody's hating on that. But if you've been together 10, 15, 20, 30 years, we all know that. So every time you got to post, my bae, my boo, my angel, my king, my queen, we know who that is. Those is the individuals that need to prove to all of you to all of us, that everything is top freaking notch. And it may not be. Okay? Do not get caught up in the illusion of what social media shows you. Okay? Because everybody, we all going to show. I mean, we all going to show. We're going to show the best. Right? We're going to show the best. That's just how that, that's how that goes. So, it, it does not make sense to compare or be envious or be jealous of anyone. All right, this one, I, I don't know. I may drag this one out. I'm going to try to go fast. I'm going to give some fake names, right? Catch up catch up with me. One person is Sally. One person is Sarah, okay? Sally and, and Sarah are best friends. They've been best friends since, let's say, high school. These, these, chicks, done, they, these chicks done been through... So they've been to fights together. They done robbed together. They may even got arrested. They done fought each other they done been through it, right? Sally got her, her husband, but he is a sorry ass dude because all he do is sit on the couch and play uh, PlayStation all day. And Sally got some money, you know, because she got her little degree. And I'm not saying it like that, but she got her degree. So she taking care of her husband. She one of those that, you know, long as there's a body in my house, long as I got a man, everybody think I got it all the way going on, right? Okay, then you got Sarah. Sarah may have been with somebody, may have had a very toxic relationship, toxic marriage, divorce, hasn't been in a long-term relationship, hasn't found love in a long time because her heart's been broken. She's been scarred. She don't trust the men she attract ain't trash. They all toxic. But what happened with Sarah, so let me get, let me get to Sally. Sally you know, is her best friend. So she's always hearing about these different dudes and she's hearing about, it's almost like the tea for her. It's almost like entertainment for her, you know, to hear uh, 
all of these different uh, scenarios and stories that she's gone through because her love life basically fucking sucks. Okay, Sarah has had enough. So Sarah may have been healing over maybe the last year or two. And during this healing, she's really going within, right? Almost ghosting her friend. Not really ghosting, but she's needing time alone because she's wanting to heal. She's healing those inner child wounds. She's really trying to figure out why do I keep attracting toxic men? Because to attract man or woman, reverse this role, okay? Energy is energy. Energy doesn't have a, 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 a agenda, okay? But she's trying to figure out if I'm attracting this, there must be something that I am doing to manifest toxic men in my life. Toxic relationships. Now take this even as money. If you keep, if you can't hold on to money, you can't create money, you can't manifest money. There's something that you are energetically putting out, and you are attracting that, and and this is why this is happening. Okay, back to the story because I'm trying to really go fast. I'm not trying to make this long, but these messages have to come out, and these messages will always be timeless. Okay. So now with her healing, she's healing again, not overnight. This could be a year, two years, three years, but she's slowly moving out of the energy from her girlfriend because she's trying to go within and heal. People need to start respecting people and giving people their uh, time and their space. We're not children. I don't need to talk to you. Why does somebody need to talk to somebody? Okay, if we best friends, we got to talk every single day. And then you're mad, you mad if somebody's not liking your picture or loving your picture or, okay, that's a whole nother, this is so, it, that is so fucking kitty. Oh my God, it's such a turn off. But anyway, so with all of this healing, Sally has met a soulmate. A soulmate is coming in. If you, Sally, you got a soulmate coming in, but now Sarah is all in her feelings like, you know, who's this new guy? This new guy is wealthy, and I'm not just saying he's wealthy with money. Yeah, he is stable. He's He's got his shit together because you know what? He's a healed divine masculine, not a distorted masculine. He has healed his inner child wounds. He's not, you know, he's uh, aware. He's intelligent. He's open to do new things. He doesn't have a cassette mindset. He doesn't have a religious mindset where you're just supposed to be in the house cooking for him and making babies and, and, and nothing you say means nothing. He's not in that 60s, 50s, 60s, 70s uh, male mindset, right? He's tapped into his own divine feminine energy and he is successful. He is uh, abundant. He's wealthy uh, with his health. You know, he's healthy with love. He's He doesn't have an issue with expressing his emotions and communicating, He's tapped all the way in and she has met him. And this is triggering Sarah because she got her loser fat husband at home. And I'm not judging nobody that don't do nothing. He's, he's just, he's like a roommate. She takes care of him. When they go on vacation, she pays for it. He doesn't get her anything for Valentine's Day. He doesn't, you know, everybody doesn't celebrate Valentine's Day, but he doesn't get her flowers. He's not rubbing her feet. He's not giving her a bubble bath. He's not cooking for her when she doesn't feel well. She still has to do that when she doesn't feel well, but let him be sick because he's an adult boy. And you have a lot of women that are married to adult boys or with adult boys, making it like they're so proud they got a man. Woo! Anyway, I'm going to move along with that. Sarah is meeting a soulmate. You're meeting a soulmate. But I'm sorry, Sally is meeting the soulmate. This friend trying to come in, she is now, while you were doing your affirmations and you're meditating and you're trying to tell her these beautiful things because this is your best friend. She's like, oh girl, you boring now. That stuff don't, that shit don't work. That stuff is corny. That stuff is whack. Come on, let's go out. Even though she got her man, you know, they still go out and do their thing or whatever. Nothing wrong with that. But she trying to hook her up. With the same type of dudes, you know, why don't you just call such and such? You her best friend. You you knew how that dude treated her. Why would you even suggest her or egg her on to do that? 
But she got this new man coming in. This man is ready to like, listen, you get on the plane, pack your bags. And I was saying, and I was picking that up in some readings some time ago. Y'all need to pack your bags. Y'all need to get your passport. Y'all is about to be traveling. Those who have not gotten to really live life because you haven't had that confidence to do that. The ones that is doing the work right now and that's doing the healing. This is where you're going to get the confidence to do this. This is where you're going to be able to know how to manifest and use the law of attraction to just get on a plane on a Friday, uh, Friday night and get back on Monday. Get your passport. All right. You're not. And the beauty with the, uh, these two friends, I'm not going to say the beauty, but it really is making Sarah see Sally really was never her friend. She cared about her. She wanted her to do good, but not better than her. And that is the case for any of these topics, whether this is confidence, people want to see you smile and do good, but they don't want to see you look fucking better than them. They don't want to see your business get better than them. Okay. You have individuals out here who really do. I know I've always, I've always been like that because I always know I was going to have my time when I have my time. People have to get, be ready to heal and learn and know the truth and mature. You still have a childlike, you know, uh, imagination because that's part of creativity. You don't, you don't lose that. There's a certain essence and purity of a child that, that in your heart, you don't lose that, but there's a maturity as far as your emotions and how you handle things and how you react to things. All right. The other thing, oh my goodness, I have to just get back to the ones that, you know, really start getting upset when you meet somebody new or you meet a man that is totally different, totally different than what you ever attracted before. You know, some of these females ain't never even had a guy put a candy ring on them. Never even thought of it. Never thought of it. And that's fine because, you know, everybody doesn't want to be married, right? Everybody, some individuals are really fine with the situations that, they, that they're that they in. And that's fine. Why I think the moral of all this is coming out is question people's motives that, especially if it's business and they want to invest in you, question their motives. But also a lot of these long-term relationships are dissolving because individuals are now growing and ascending and it's moving them away from this again this record player payphone mentality we're not we're not even in that you might as well just go in the time capsule if you still thinking like how you used to think if you still got the same thought pattern from the 60s 70s 80s and the 90s put yourself in a time capsule. Okay. And even, you know, some females do want to ring and that's, that's unfortunate because they are allowing themselves to remain and, 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 and settle and wait for this man. A man could put a promise ring and y'all don't get married. I mean, we're not always, it's not really the the, the material part of it. That's not what I'm saying because everything is not material. Everything is not money. Some things are uh, symbolic. Some things are symbolic. Somebody don't want to ring, but this is a good man. He takes care of the home. He provides for you. He loves you and everything. That, that's not what I'm talking about. If that's what's happening, by all means, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. All right? So I think that was it. Like, let's, the, 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 the mental, the mental, mental illness we're going to have to, we're going to have, so that conversation has to happen. You have to start doing background checks. People need to like the same way you need to go to the doctor and make sure these people are not running around with STDs and herpes. That was the other thing. Some of y'all females is like, yeah, my man won't never cheat on me. You know what, honey? Something, and, and this is only for a few who is resonating with this. I'm not creating something. So don't intertwine it in your life. If you think your fucking man is bisexual, his boyfriend is his homie, his best friend. You just like, damn. And you know, when you, you grown, why would a man be upset that his boy 
can't come out or can't do something because he's with his woman and his children. What is that? What is that that a man always has to be around men? And you won't ever see them around females. And I'm not judging to each his own. We have free will. I don't have a problem with people that's bisexual. I have a problem with people that hide it and it's on the down low. And you bring in women, HIV, herpes, STD, gonorrhea, home, trying to flip it on them. Like, well, who did they sleep with? You just had men, man on man. Man on man sex. So if that's resonating, honey, and you really like ignoring that, this is just very for, this might, I don't know who this is for. Again, this is massive. This is something that's massive. I'm massive. All right. So the mental illness, you know, follow and trust your intuition. Trust, trust, trust that God voice inside of you. And when you see the red flags, that's what this overall message is. That's all it is. I'm getting uh, too far ahead of myself. I'm going to, we're going to, just some tarot. I'll just see by the signs that come out. I'm not going to read the cards. I'll just see because you can, um, you'll know the tarots by, by the cards. The swords are the air signs. The wands are the fire signs. The pentacles are the earth signs because we get that money. All right. And the cups are the water signs. All right. So I'm just going to shuffle this a little bit. Oh, this is going to about 40 minutes. Thank you guys again for being here. Listen, I had to obey spirit and deliver these messages. This is the path that I'm on. I am so passionate and happy and proud of myself that I have allowed this to um, be shared because for years <laughs> it's been in, it's been in who and what I am has been in. It's not, you know, some things esoteric, some occult knowledges, certain things, abilities, you know, that I can do just, you know, people have a, you know, a very bad, um, stigma with the word witch and high priestess and you know with the mediums and light workers and empath and you know a life a, le a left hand path I'm a left hand path I'm a light hand path as above so below as within so without okay all right I'm just gonna shuffle this a little bit and just see what signs come out we'll get a couple I'll let a couple come out Hope you guys are all doing good. I know that was a lot. That was a lot. Maybe I should have cleared with a bell. I'll... You could change the energy with frequency. Change the energy with frequency, all right? Sound vibration. Listen to the meditations. Listen to guided meditations. Oh. You know what? A lot came out. I'm not going to take all of these. So I'll take the first few that did come out. The King of Wands. So that's Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. This could be speaking to her. This could be speaking about more fire, more passion. The Four of Wands. All right. So those are the homes. Those are what's supposed to be stable. Okay. Stop comparing yourself. No judging, but... Don't compare yourself to something that you really don't know. You really don't know what it is, right? Everything is not always what it seems. All right. The chariot, cancer. All right. Gemini. So some air signs. That was the love is. This is the three of swords. So more air signs, Aquarius. Libra and Gemini. All right, that's the broken heart. Things are breaking up. Things are breaking apart. Things are just um, no longer what it used to be. We're going into a new earth. Okay, we're ascending to five. We're ascending to five D. All right, so there was more uh, swords. The moon was hidden. 
Things that are hitting are now going to come to the light. Relationships are going to be dissolved. You're going to see people going to be scratching their head. I put a post up and I said, you know, let me chill. Spirit, I'm at work. Let me chill. People are going to be scratching their heads. People don't want certain things to come out. They don't want certain things exposed because they've worked really hard to make an illusion. To make people think something is something and something is not something, especially if it's that down low shit. Especially if it's people trying to rob people, you know, even people getting exposed from these churches, these spiritual communities, these, you know, people could read a book, they can regurgitate a book back and forth and they come on and they put up the slides and, you know, they just, they have a whole different lifestyle when they're getting off, but people are praising those people that no more, stop praising anybody other than yourself, uh, more cups. Four cups, nine of cups. I mean, I could give a whole reading on just <laughs> on just the reading that just came out, but it basically is a confirmation of everything that I just said. All right, guys, 4141 on the clock. Thank you guys for being here. Please be kind to yourself, nurturing to yourself. Be kind to one another. Love on yourself, love on one another. The past is going tomorrow. Tomorrow is so unknown. You are in the present right now. Really, and, and being the energy of forgiveness, even if you can't forgive, try, try to forgive, at least forgive, at least start with yourself. All right. Fill your cup, water your garden. Stop looking at other people's garden, other people's grass. You got people that buy that fake grass, make their lawns look all special. Nothing wrong with that. No judging, no judging. Free will here. Free will. This is a healing channel. We're going to speak the truth. All right. Take care of yourself and each other. Peace.